All right, guys, so Boomer the Nerd here. So coming in at number five for uh, my top five anime, coming in at number five, I've got Cowboy Bebop. Classic anime. Uh, it started in the late 90s. It's about a group of uh, space cowboys. The crew consists of Spike, uh, Jet Black. You've also got Faye Valentine, Ed. Uh, it's a really cool show. It takes, Like I said, it takes place in space. Uh, there are miscast bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, characters um, but it's really neat to watch their adventures in space uh, if you're a fan of live action sci-fi uh, if you want to check out uh, Cowboy Bebop but you're not sure you can always check out uh, Firefly so that's my number five all right well as my boy Boomer always says it's geeking time and uh, it certainly is today and I'm going to start this off strong with my number five pick a fantastic series recommended to me one of my very good friends Jeff this is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Season 3, Stardust Crusaders. I believe it's coming to Canada and the U.S. right now, but man, if you haven't seen this series, you are doing yourself a disservice. This series is phenomenal from the art, the story, the anime action. It's just so good. It follows the story of Jotaro Kujo. Basically, I don't want to give away too much, but if you ever watched, if you ever played the game Persona, their magical powers and their, they, they beat each other up essentially with spirits. And they are the coolest things in the world. And I mean, it's a little bit dark, a little bit twisted. Actually, a lot twisted. So if you like these kind of things, go check out uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Season 3, Stardust Crusaders. And honestly, those intros are just so good. Go check them all out. All right, cool. That's not bad. So coming in at number four for me, I've got Inuyasha. That was one of the first animes that I ever watched uh, when I used to watch YTV. They used to play it at night. Uh, it's really cool. It takes uh, it's uh, it's about a girl in modern uh, Japan who finds um, a portal through a well into feudal Japan, where she meets uh, a boy who's strapped to a tree with a arrow in his chest named Nuyasha, and through there they go through a whole bunch of different um, uh, adventures to find the little shards of the Shikan jewel. So it's a really cool anime. Um, honestly, if you're into stuff that takes place in uh, old Japan times and has a lot of fantasy elements, definitely check out Inuyasha. Oh man, Inuyasha is so good. I should have put that on my number four. Well, I guess I can't do it now. My number four will be Naruto. Naruto's a great series. Everybody loves it. It follows his story as he tries to become the Hokage, which is basically the the biggest and strongest ninja of that of their town, uh, not town, but of their, um, their province or, or country. Uh, so Naruto goes through a lot of different struggles he, his best friend kind of turns to the dark side and he goes and he, he tries to bring him back throughout the whole series. And, you know, basically it's, you know, yin and yang. And together at the end, they basically team up together to defeat the ultimate ninja, uh, which was named, uh, what was her name? Kagura. And it's just a great series. And uh, this one also has a lot of stuff to do with uh, the tailed beasts. And there's all these kind of cool powers. And honestly, I can't I can't give you Naruto a synopsis in, in a minute. It's it's too great. You got to go watch it yourself. Let's go to Boomer's number three. Okay, so for me coming at number three, I've got Gundam Seed and Gundam Seed Destiny. Gundam Seed and Gundam Seed Destiny are a uh, whole storyline that go together in the uh, Mobile Suit Gundam uh, line. Uh, but they break it up into two... Uh, two parts, so each each uh, part has 52 episodes. It's Mecha, it takes place in the future, it's uh, all about the Zaft plant uh, corporations uh, uh, fighting each other to restore sort of peace on Earth. Uh, it's a fantastic uh, anime, and it's also one of the fan favorite Gundam series. So if you, if you do like Gundam, uh, if you've seen the models and stuff and you thought that they were neat to build definitely check out Gundam Seed and Gundam Seed Destiny that's uh number three on my list Gundam Seed and Gundam Seed Destiny are you sure this is not a top six there Boomer my number three is a fantastic series Code Geass great story basically all about uh this guy named Lelouch who is super intelligent and he loves chess and the whole thing basically revolves around uh, Lelouch and how he gets this magical eye power called Gies and he can control people so it's kind of like the ultimate chess game in his mind. Due to super brilliant he creates himself as a uh, as like a, a figure called Zero and there's mechs and all this kind of cool stuff and he becomes this bad guy but he lives like this dual life and uh, at the end of the series uh, I don't know if I'll give it away here but no, nah, I won't give it away. Go check it out. It's it's really, really good. Uh, not my favorite style of anime in terms of the visuals. Uh, it's It's got more of a kind of um, 
it's not really a shonen looking anime, not the very like standard one, but uh, I definitely loved it. The uh, show was so good, and it's uh, getting a season three, so hey man, I'm excited about that. What do you got, Boomer? Okay, so for me at number two, I've got Death Note. Huge fan of that series. It's so dark, it's so somber. There's just something about that show. It starts off about, it starts off with a god of death and a human who are both bored of what they're doing. And the god of death, Ryuk, drops his notebook on Earth. And the main uh, character, Light, finds it. And he comes to find out that he can write anybody's name in that book. And anyone's name he writes in that book will end up dying of a heart attack within 30 seconds. Um, again, that was one of the first animes that I was exposed to. Uh, I, thought it, I thought it was beautifully done, well written, the animation is beautiful. Uh, honestly, perfect anime. Uh, Netflix is coming out with a live action uh, Death Note anime, uh, sorry, live action Death Note series this year. So if you've never seen the anime and you don't want to, but you want to check out what Netflix is, they've got that coming. But do, do yourself a favor and check out the Death Note anime. Perfect anime again. Oh man, Death Note at number two. Hey, I saw your review the other day on Death Note. Pretty awesome. You guys should check it out too. My number two, old school favorite, Digimon. Now a lot of people say Digimon is a lot like Pokemon. Very different series. Honestly, I think Pokemon is more of a game-based series where Digimon is more of a TV show-based series. Uh, Digimon is fantastic. Season 1 was great introduction. You got the Megas, you got, you know, uh, War Greymon, Metal Garumon, you got the whole battle between the two worlds. Digimon the movie, actually one of my favorite movies of all time. I love that style. Very awesome style. Uh, Digimon Season 2, not that good. Kind of interesting in the way they did things with armor evolutions and all that kind of stuff. And, and then they did the uh, the whole thing with um, uh, Fusion. But Milo Myotismon, if you guys haven't seen him, he's a creepy dude. Check him out at the end of the season. He is, uh, he's definitely going to give you some nightmares. And uh, season three, my favorite, dark undertone. The, the three characters were great. Uh, there was Henry, Rika, and um, uh, Takato. I loved Gilmon. I loved these characters. Season three is great. Bielzamon, oh man, what can I say? I'm sure you've seen it, but oh, love it. Great series. Go check it out if you haven't. And let's hear what Boomer's number one is. All right, so coming in at number one for me, you must have seen it coming from a mile away. You got it on my t-shirt. You've got it on my hat. My number one anime of all time. Dragon Ball Z. That to me is the greatest anime ever made. Oh my god, I cannot begin to talk about anime because about uh, Dragon Ball Z because I will be going on forever talking about Dragon Ball Z. It's just one of those animes that I grew up with. It is the ultimate anime that made anime amazing for me to watch. It is honestly hands down the greatest anime I have ever seen in my whole life. Dragon Ball Z, still going strong today with Dragon Ball Super. And recently they put out a movie a couple years back called uh, Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F. Go watch Dragon Ball Z. If you've seen it already, you know what I'm talking about. If you have not seen it, watch Dragon Ball Z. It is the greatest anime of all time. So Marvelous, I kick it off to you. What is your number one anime of all time? Really, Boomer? Seriously, you're going to put Dragon Ball Z at number one? Come on, dude. It's obviously going to be Hamtar wrong. It's going to be Dragon Ball Z as well for me too, dude. Dragon Ball Z is the best series. Honestly, I love this series so much. It pretty much raised me. Um, you got to love Vegeta, Goku, Frieza. The series just keeps going. I mean, so great. Dragon Ball Z had so many good fights, so many memorable moments. And yeah, you know, it's it's a lot of powering up and a lot of fighting, but you know what, it's great. And uh, GT, you know, a lot of people didn't like it, but the style was really nice, and you know, they did something a little bit different. And if you haven't seen it already, guys, go check out Dragon Ball Super. There's no reason for you not to anymore. It officially just aired on Toonami, I believe two weeks ago. So go check it out, and uh, yeah, it's, it's out in English and in Japanese. So seriously, check it out. If you haven't, you're missing out. But yeah, Dragon Ball Z, number one from both of us. I mean, what more can you get? That's a, that's a glowing review. Well, and that's that. So uh, let's see what Boomer has to say. So I just want to give a quick honorable mention. Um, Basilisk, Afro Samurai, Samurai Champloo, One Punch Man, Attack on Titan, and Dead Man Wonderland. They didn't exactly uh, make uh, the cut, but there are still some pretty awesome anime. Uh, go check those out if you get the chance. All right, let's do some honorable mentions. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go with Gurren Lagann, Kill la Kill, 
um, One Piece, Inuyasha, Death Note, yeah. And um, I think maybe even uh, Bleach. Let's do that. That sounds good. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this video. Boomer's going to give you a little note after this as well. But if you guys haven't checked out Boomer's channel, please do. It's fantastic. He does pretty much like reviews almost every day. And they're really good. He just started about a week ago. But man, I'm addicted to his stuff. And that's not just because we're related. He's actually the coolest dude I know. So uh, yeah, guys, go check him out and support his channel. And I uh, hope to see you guys and Boomer very soon. Hey guys, just a quick uh, nod. Uh, I'm Boomer the Nerd, if you're watching on Marvelous's channel here. Uh, link in the description. Again, it's YouTube Boomer the Nerd. Uh, thanks for watching. It's cool if it's nerd cool. Peace.